Apple could be next, Will, on the cryptocurrency front. And this was a conversation that we were having as a group this morning about how these big businesses can potentially be on the right side of this crypto thing mm -hmm. and potentially increase the rate of adoption and utilize it in their favor for their business interests. Yeah. In, you know, all these phones, all these tech companies, they got wallets. They got, so far right now, we just put our cards into their wallets, our pre-existing credit cards. Well, then Apple, they went with a financial product and financing, mm -hmm. and they got their very own Apple card, and you put that inside your wallet on your device. Yeah. And it's like, huh, all this electronic money moving around. Is there something we can do in here? Mm -hmm. You see, one of the things about crypto right now, I know the true crypto people, they want to hold on to their own crypto, their own keys. Yeah. Like uh, Antonopoulos says. Cold storage. That's what they do. But the, the fact of the matter is, the average person might... Indulge? No, no, no. The average person might need a more streamlined experience. But I don't know. I don't know who, the, who or what the average person is in 2021. I think it's going to be... I just feel there's an opportunity for a company of Apple scale to come along. We saw what Tesla did, and I'm not saying Apple's going to do this anytime soon. It's a report by, from RBC here. Apple increasingly getting into the services business. They got all kinds of cash piles sitting around. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest cash piles in the world. Mm -hmm. Put a little into crypto. I don't know. See what happens. And then maybe more interestingly to me, find a way to embrace it amongst your customers. Think about the install base of iOS devices. Imagine a feature crypto component being added. I'm not saying this, can, people are very skeptical. Mm -hmm. But imagine that existed immediately overnight on the wallet app on every single iPhone. And Apple uses it as some sort of privacy pitch, as they would and as they do on a regular basis. And they say, which company you want to trust? We're mm -hmm. a privacy guy. Yeah. Who tells you when they're tracking you on the ads and whatnot? We do. Mm -hmm. Nobody else. So they could make a pitch that their device is the only device secure enough to be a home for your crypto. Yes. I'm just making a pitch right now. Yeah. I'm not saying they're going to do it. But I hear you. But that's, you know, that's the report. Apple Inc. has a clear opportunity, according to RBC, to offer a buying and selling mechanism for cryptocurrencies. They're talking about an exchange, Willie Do. Mm. A move that would allow the company to immediately gain market share, according to a research report on Monday, RBC Capital Markets. With its access to world-class software and a secure ecosystem, Apple could tackle the problem individuals face acquiring crypto. I mean, instantly, overnight, boom, exchange. Take yes. a small piece, take a small percentage. They're all about percentages. They're all about services right now. Mm -hmm. Boom, bottom line. Who do you trust? Which brand? I'm not saying you, yeah. you should do it. I, I'm not saying you should do it. I'm curious about the uh, crypt, crypto guys, like the really passionate ones. What, what would they think about it? So the reason... Would they like it or not? Well, I have mean... have like a big corporation... I mean, have control. look, the true crypto guys love the decentralized aspect. Yeah. It's no central powerhouse that can uh, manipulate the thing. That's the pitch. But also... If Apple adopts it, wouldn't it go to the moon? You're all about the moon today. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, look, it, it's a little bit of column A and a little bit of column B. I think the idea of an exchange, crypto, the true cryptos, hate the idea of money sitting on the exchange. Uh -huh. It's volatile over there. However, you look at what's going on with the, the likes of Robin Hood, things like this. People are leaving their money all over the place. Mm-hmm. And in some cases, it's insured. It could be government insured, depending on the institution. Humans are really used to the idea of their money existing as a figment of their imagination, as some sort of a set of digits inside of a bank. Yes. Is it in the bank? It's on your web page. It's yeah. on your app. Is it backed by gold, will he do? No, you just yeah. you just take comfort looking and scrolling, looking at your little number. Yeah. Oh, there's it's my not number. Physical. I'm safe. I have a number. 
Yes. Yeah. I so mean, pe can, people, I'm, what I'm trying to get at is that people are really used to that idea, as as crazy as it sounds. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. you could go into the bank and be like, "I need a hundred grand right now," and they'd be like, "We can't give you that." And you'd be like, "What do you mean? I got it right there, right?" They won't even give it to you. It's not even right there. Mm -hmm. They'd be like, "You got to order that in advance." So it is a kind of thing where we have given tremendous amount of trust to the banking institutions. Now I know they're regulated and everything else. But I find it hard to believe that some some version of that system wouldn't follow crypto too. And companies like Apple and others, PayPal, whoever, you name it, Amazon, Tesla already kind of getting into that direction. There are opportunities for money to be made as this transition takes place. Mm -hmm. And I think there's going to be some version of crypto for everyone where some prefer to go the hardcore route and others are more on the loose side of it. More others are more enabling these brands to earn their piece yes. and saying, you know what, I'm fine with that. I don't know that it's a question of one of it only being one way. If you look at the payment structure of regular money, it's so many different ways that people utilize it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you talk about here in Canada, people use Inter Interac, which has been around forever. Yeah. And it's not a credit card. It's a direct card linked to your bank account. Been around for decades. People in Europe, the same thing. Now, I go to Europe and I pull out a credit card in some places. I'm in Germany. They're like, what is that? They're like, bah. They, they don't want to take it at some places. And, yeah. and, and I'm like, oh, wow. So the adoption is different depending where you are. So why should we expect that over here it's not going to be the same where there's going to be this variety of usages? Mm -hmm. So anyhow, uh, Apple has this wallet app. They have an, an in, insane install base. And currently it's a bit messy because people just select their own their own wallet application. There's many great ones, but there's opportunity. That's what I'm trying to get at.